We opened an antique store, but it had to be family friendly, where we could work and still have fun. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain or open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life. This is our adventure. This is Curiosity Inc. So on today's adventure, we're going to try something new. And I have a special guest. My wife, Melissa, is with us today. So we are going to go on an adventure around town. It's something I'm going to call Matchbook Magellan. I'll tell you more in a couple minutes. But uh, first, we're going to load up in the car and hit the road. And this is Melissa's first time riding in the police car as well. I think you've just seen this thing sitting on the garage or taken apart, right? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have the greatest track record for uh, <laughs> for being in one piece. She's only seen it kind of apart and dismantled. Are you afraid it's going to break down or blow up? You trust my engine rebuilding abilities? <laughs> yes, I trust your engine building abilities. <laughs> Do you trust the fact that we have uh, AAA so we can call a tow truck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're going to head to the store, pick up some stuff for our trip today, and then head out and I'll tell you more. So the kids are at home with Grandpa right now, so we get to have a bit of a date night today. Are you excited for our date? Our hot date, yes. And um, the boys were acting up a little bit this morning, so we put our daughter in charge, who's like... Yeah, their little sister, their baby sister, is now in charge of the older brothers. So that ought to go over really well with the boys. What do you think? Oh, they were already not happy about it when we left the house, so... But now a quick trip to the store to pick up the goods. Okay, I'll be right back. Sweetheart, what are you getting? Uh, you'll see, it's a surprise. Surprises. Oh, this could be interesting. Okay, so this is my surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I can drop them all over the place. It looks like matchbooks. So the reason I ended up going and getting these matchbooks from inside is that uh, I thought it'd be fun today for us to go on an adventure. And um, these are all local matchbooks from like the 1950s. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and pick out maybe like five or six of these places, uh, go to the address that's on them. So you can see like old gas stations and they've got the address right there. So we're going to go and uh, trace down where these places were and see what's there now. And I think um, either give this to whoever's working in the shop or leave it as a memento uh, <laughs> on the place where it was. So we're gonna see how many of these places actually exist today. So we're gonna pick out a few of these and uh, go driving around town. So there's lots of different ways to experience history. Um, I ended up getting this matchbook collection from a guy and there's some that were in there and some were kind of collectible, but then I started thinking, I wonder where these places are. I wonder where they are now. So um, this address is actually not too far from where my store is. So we're going to go to see where the Jasper Place department store was and see what's there now. So stop number one, this old Jasper Place department store matchbook and we're going to go check it out. You ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. So for whatever reason, my car is like <laughs> fogging up really bad. So what have you brought with you? A squeegee. My wife's super prepared. <laughs> She's carrying a squeegee with her in case my window is fogged up. In so. case it's fogged up the whole time and I've been squeegeeing. Uh, it just adds to the, the ambiance, the atmosphere in the car. <laughs> it's, a whole kind of, it's a whole different kind of date, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, you married a whole different kind of person, so. Five, three, one, one. Here we are. It's now a pawn shop. Well, look at that. Well, at least it's in business and it's open today. A couple shots of the outside, and I'm gonna go inside and see if these people, uh, a, have an interest in history, or b, at least have a sense of humor. So uh, let's go in and uh, see. They might not want to be on camera or anything. If not, that's cool. I'll uh, let you guys know what they said about the whole thing. So let's go check it out. That would have been a good sized department store. Probably not a bad sized pawn shop now. So do you think they're gonna care? Oh, that's neat though. Yeah. So at one time, I'll get a picture of the front of it. You drive by buildings in your community and you wonder what they were. That was this Jasper Place Department Store. Quality service satisfaction. And they had a nice little motto there. There's hardly anything in the world that some men cannot make a little worse and sell a little cheaper. And the people who consider price only this man's lawful prey, or are this man's lawful prey. I think that's just a good excuse for having high prices. Well, let's just go inside. 
So I asked the fellow if he knew what was in this building before, and he said, yeah, yeah, I know exactly what was here before. And I said, did you know it was a department store? And he said, no, I had no idea. He only knew it was a part store before this and had no idea originally in the 50s as a part department store. Super nice guy. Um, all the people from around the counter kind of gathered around to have a look at it, and they stuck it up on their wall of fame. So trip number one, a success, and I, don't know, I think he thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, he said he's going to come by our store and check it out. So all in all, uh, trip number one, a success. So let's find another one. Okay, you ready for stop number two? Yes. Okay, so stop number two is going to be uh, the New West Hotel. So um, looks like it was kind of a swing in 50s, mid-century kind of place. So, um, and they also welcomed cowboys because <laughs> you never know when this guy's going to rope his way into the building. Um, so we are going to go and find this place and um, see if it's still there, see if the building still exists and uh, maybe give this to the hotel manager if it's still a hotel. Who knows, it might be torn down, but we're going to go find out. So off to stop number two. like the building is still here we're gonna drive around the front and see what it is and here we are and it looks like the new west hotel is still in fact the new west hotel i've actually you know i didn't remember the name of this place but i've met a guy here once before um we did a, a deal for a whole pile of really cool high-end wristwatches in this uh, restaurant so i have great, great memories of being in this hotel restaurant because i ended up leaving with a big bag full of old uh Swiss watches and Rolexes and stuff. Probably happened at one of those tables right there. So, yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna go in and uh, meet the manager and uh, see what okay, we can so get So the that. gentleman that was managing the uh, hotel here um, was actually a collector of uh, antique and local historic items, so he thought it was really cool. Uh, he collects pins mainly and things like that. Uh, he said that this hotel has actually just been sold to some new people and uh, he's not sure if they're gonna uh, keep it as a hotel or, or what they're gonna do. As of right now, right this minute, it's still a hotel, still has the old diner and everything in there. Um, but uh, it might not be that way for much longer. So uh, he thought it was a really cool piece and they're gonna put it up on their wall too. So uh, it kind of feels nice getting these pieces back in their proper homes. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna head out on the highway and look for another adventure. And I think uh, stop number two, we're gonna try and find out uh, where what happened to this station here. So Redhead was um, an early Canadian service station. Uh, they were later, I believe, bought out by uh, British American BA, which got bought out by Golf. Um, and so we're gonna go to this address here and see if Mount Pleasant Service is still uh, an actual uh, gas station or if it's shut down or maybe it's an empty lot. So we're gonna go and uh, track that one down next. you are young and bored and have not much to do in the city of Edmonton, Alberta, coming to White Avenue has been a mainstay for years. There's shopping, uh, there's all sorts of entertainment, and this old gas station we're going to would have been right in the heart of all of this. So we're going to see if it still exists, and we should be there in just a couple minutes. So location where this old gas station was is now Derek Dodge so it's an old uh, well it's not an old it's a Dodge dealership now so they probably have no idea that there used to be a gas station here on this property on the plus side they're probably gearheads probably into this kind of stuff so they might think it's kind of neat so I'm still gonna pop in the showroom and give this thing uh, to the sales manager one of the guys in there because they might think it's kind of cool so uh, I'm gonna find myself a parking space and go inside well, let's go and find somebody. Well, I was wrong. Um, the lady who was working at reception could probably care less <laughs> about old cars. Um, it was like I handed her an expired donut. She's like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a fail. It was something. Maybe yeah. somebody she'll pass it on to will appreciate it. Okay, so the next stop is kind of a special place. I know this place still exists, um, but I'm kind of curious to go and uh, deliver this matchbook to them. This is the McDonald Hotel. It's the fancy hotel in town. It was built um, just after the turn of the century by the railways. Uh, you can see on the back it says 
Canadian National Hotels. Um, has a lot of history in town, beautiful old building. We're gonna go down, we're gonna deliver this matchbook and see if maybe we get a little bit better response than the uh, car lot here. So off we go. Okay, so if somebody came in and saw you at work and handed you an old matchbook, like what would you think? I would think this person has a lot of time on their hands, but I would make them feel very special and that I really appreciated it either way. <laughs> Well, I do have time on my hands and I like history, so <laughs> I mean, I think it's cool. I like doing this kind of stuff, so well, that's all right. I'm doing it for the rest of us out there, fighting the good fight for those people who think this stuff is neat. Well, I like doing this with you. You just look a little crazy. <laughs> I always look a little crazy. So there it is there. We just have to find a parking space and we'll walk up to the hotel. So we are in downtown Edmonton right now at the luxurious Hotel McDonald. Um, we're gonna go inside because it's pretty freezing out here. Wanna go in? Yes. Now we're gonna find somebody at reception. Beautiful old hotel though. And they're doing their famous buffet brunch right now, but we're gonna find somebody to give this matchbook to. So the lady who was working the front desk was a history buff. In fact, uh, she showed us the matchbook side by side. And so there they are, the matching pair. So there's the vintage circa 1950 Hotel McDonald's. And then the Fairmont, that's what it is now. So really cool to see them side by they said side. They might even have some old antiques in the basement of this place that might be for sale. So pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, so um, this one I'd say success. Yeah, so <laughs> much better than the last stop. So we're gonna keep uh, trucking along and uh, hit maybe one or two more places and then head back home, but uh, so far going well. So the last stop for today is gonna be finding the Hub Hotel. So this says it's right in the heart of downtown. I don't know if this place is torn down or not. I know some of the buildings on this stretch have been demolished, but hopefully not this one. So it's a little bit chilly outside, so Melissa's decided to stay in the car. So this time it's on me to go and find this place. So while she stays warm, I'm gonna walk down the block here and see if I can find this old hotel. So right across from the North Saskatchewan River is the block of buildings right by where this hotel was. Now this is currently being revitalized now. Uh, some of these are abandoned and rough shape, but they are starting to bring this neighborhood back to life. But I think that this old hotel right here is the one we're looking for. According to my matchbook, it was called the Hub Hotel back uh, around 1947 or so when this matchbook was new. And uh, the windows and everything looked just about right. So I'm gonna go inside and deliver them a piece of their history. How did it go? Um, they had this really neat Hawaiian picture on the wall too. It was massive and it looked like it was right out of that mid-century kind of Hawaiian thing. Anyway, it was neat. Um, so I walk up to the bar and the bartender's just sitting there and there's a bunch of guys kind of just watching TV and drinking. Um, and uh, I say to the bartender, like, hey, are you into history at all? And he kind of looked at me like I was crazy, which I don't blame him. Like, who walks up to a bar in an old hotel like that and asks me if they like history? So I showed him the matchbook and then he's looking at it and he's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I'm like, well, I thought it should be home. And then some of the guys that were at the bar there were like they thought I was handing out free matches and they're like hey give us some of those matches and I'm like no I'm not handing out free matches I'm just like providing some history to the guy that's working here and anyway so if I was smart I would have had a bunch of matches for these guys but I didn't have much and probably on top of that the matchbook I gave them they were all used up anyway just a matchbook but um overall pretty cool they were really nice um yeah and they and he thanked me so and I might actually call that place back too because um that big Hawaiian picture was pretty neat maybe they want to sell it so um, see if I can maybe reach out to the hotel owner and you never know maybe they have a basement full of antiques too So all in all went pretty well. So uh, are you up for going to get something to eat? Yes, for sure. I'm hungry <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go So just stop for a bite to eat and a drink and then we're gonna head back home But a lot of adventure today and uh, glad that we had a chance to get out on the road So all in all did you have fun? Yeah, it was really good So would you come out and do it again? Yeah, I'd do it again. <laughs> it's fun. I don't get her out with me enough. I gotta bring you out to some scrapyards next too. Go digging around for old cars. <laughs> 
Well, I hope you like this video. We go on adventures every once in a while. Sometimes it's in a scrapyard, sometimes it's pulling antiques out of places. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. You can like these videos as well. You can also check us out on Instagram at curiosityinkyeg or come in the store and say hi too, or go to the website at www.curiosityedmonton.ca. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>